Will this new release from Grimm be light years ahead of their other double IPAs? Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and today we're taking a look at Grimm's newest release. This is Lightyear. It's 8% ABV, and it's a double IPA brewed with Galaxy, Y.E.T., Citra, and Mosaic hops. So a really awesome hop blend in this one. I love just about all those hops. Y.E.T., I've only had a couple beers with Y.E.T. in it so far, so I don't know too much about that hop. But again, Galaxy, Mosaic, Citra, all those hops are right up my alley. I love Grim IPAs, as you know, so have high hopes for this one. I don't really know too much about it because they don't have a page for it on their website yet because it's so new, but let's get into this one and find out. Yeah, so for the aroma of this one, it definitely smells like a Grim beer, getting that typical candied, fruity hop character coming through, that candied sweetness. It smells a lot like a gummy bear or gummy worm, something like that. A bit of a, a peach candy note coming through as well. Like lots of peach and passion fruit. Almost like a lime candy, like a lime hard candy coming through. Lemon limey notes. Maybe even some grapefruit juice-like character coming through too. In the background, you get a little bit of a, a green hop note. Maybe slight grass. A little bit of a breadiness coming through too. But again, it's all about that classic grim hop candy character. Cheers. Yeah, and it carries through into the taste too. Up front, again, it's like a peach candy or passion fruit. Lots of passion fruit, actually, I would say. And a little bit of that lime note coming through, like lime candy. I don't know if I said this on the aroma, but it definitely resembles gummy worms, which is a characteristic that is not unheard of in a grim beer. I mean, I've had at least a couple of Grim beers by now that had that same gummy bear, gummy worm, like candied character to it and definitely coming through in this one. Definitely a bit of citrus kicking around in this one too, a bit of like ruby grapefruit, maybe even some lemon. Again, I mentioned lime already, um, but it has a bit of a pithiness to it, a uh, moderate amount of bitterness that pulls through the finish. Yeah, even a bit of like a candied grapefruit peel. And on the back end, you do get a bit of a green hop character, a little bit chlorophyll-like. But really, it's all about those candied hop notes, that candied sweetness in this one. It's not overly sweet. It has a dry aspect to it, but there is definitely a candied sweetness coming through. For the malt character in this one, really nice breadiness. Slight caramel, I would say. And the mouthfeel, a little bit creamy, uh, medium-bodied. On the back end of this one, I'm also getting an earthy, grassy note almost like lemongrass a little bit and it finishes up really dry with that herbal grassy character some citrus pith as well as a little bit of that lime peach juice character for my final thoughts on light year this one is going to get an eight for me i think it's a solid offering from grim but at the same time comparing it to some of their other double ipas i think this is one of the weaker ones it has that typical candied grim hop character, but it doesn't necessarily pop as much as some of their other double IPAs. And it does try to do something a little bit different. You get that grassy herbal character on the back end. It's a little bit more like a fruity green tea than some of their other hoppy beers. But again, comparing it to their overall profile of hoppy beers, it doesn't necessarily do enough to stand out for me and just it didn't really live up to the expectations i put on it based off of previous grim beers and based off of the hop profile that was in this one so a little bit disappointing but again still a really well done beer i mean it's a grim ipa they're not going to make a bad beer so if you can grab a couple cans of this one it's absolutely worth a try but if you have to trade for grim hoppy beers then i would say to trade for one of their other double ipas have you guys tried light year what do you think of it what is your favorite double ipa from grim let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching. To Grim and Beyond.